give Moeller some credit. They, they played awful hard when we got down the red zone. It happens. You had to feel pretty good about that first quarter, though. You dominated possession time. We just got, you, you, we dominated. We did what we wanted to do. We just couldn't come away with any points, and that's on me. You know, our kids played their hearts out. They, 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 our kids play hard. Um, I love them. You know, great senior class, and I told them to celebrate a great season. It, it didn't end the way we wanted it to, but it was a great season. Thank you. Absolutely. Thanks, Scott. Appreciate it. Hey, Steve, talk a little bit about the quarterbacking situation. I mean, all the adversity you had to go through, but yet you still got some kids that are going to come back and they're going to be really good leaders next year. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's – I tend to focus on the seniors right now. This was their last year. They've given us a lot. I'm I'm so proud of them. That's what I told them. Uh, We've got – you know, we'll see. We've got kids coming back. We we were young at a lot of positions, but – and yeah, we lose some key guys, some key seniors. All right, we'll, we'll figure it out after the first of the year. Hey, you know, I do want to say something. You guys play such a great schedule every year, but you won 10 games this year. I mean, I think, to me, getting this far in the playoffs is one thing, but to win 10 games with that schedule, I mean, year in and year out, not a lot of teams get to do that. So I do think that's a great tribute to that senior class. No, it is. It's, uh, you know, we came off of two, two years where, you know, people, it's funny, People like to judge, and you look at the last two years we had, first-round exits, we go 6-5 and five one year, 5-6 and six the next year, and, and people want to talk about how we're down, and I say, you know what, we play unbelievable schedule. We're not afraid to play people. We'll play anybody, anytime, anywhere, and and uh, sometimes a 6-5 and five record's pretty doggone good, and you look at a 10-3 and three ending this year, and, and that's pretty doggone good too. Uh, but we're going to play anybody, anytime, anywhere, uh, I just wish I, I wish we had more local games, um, but that's not my call. There you go, Steve Speck, the head coach of the St. Xavier Bombers.